Now it's time to run the independent samples t-test. We can find it here in the Analyze menu. Compare means independent samples t-test. In this window, test variables, we enter the, the dependent variable score. And here in this field, grouping variable, we must enter our nominal independent variable course. Now we must define the groups for this variable. Click here, define groups. And here we enter the group codes just as we define them in SPSS. So the first group, one, people who did not take the course, the Spanish course, and the second group, two, people who took the Spanish course. Then click continue. As you notice, these two groups, the group codes, appeared here in this field. Now we can press OK to run the analysis. The main results of the analysis can be found here, in this table. Now we can check the last assumption of the t-test concerning the equality of variances. For this, we will use the Levin's test for equality of variances. And here, in these columns, we have the results of this test. The test value noted with F is 0.87, and the p-value of the test is 0.34. First, let's see the null and alternative hypothesis of the Levin test. They are here. So, the null hypothesis, the variances of the groups are not significantly different in the total population, and the alternative hypothesis, the variances of the groups are significantly different in the total population. We will reject the null hypothesis if the p-value of the Levin test is lower than 0.05, 5%. Let's go back here. As you notice, the p-value of the Levin test is higher than 0.05, 0.34. So, we have to retain the null hypothesis and say that the group variances are equal in the total population. So, the assumption of equality of variances is met. Now, we notice that this table has two rows. The first row is labeled equal variances assumed, and the second row is labeled equal variances not assumed. Since we have just established that the variances of the groups are equal, we are going to examine the first row only, starting here in this column T. If the Levin test has shown that the variances are different, we would have examined the second row. So, the results of interest for us are here in this line, in this row. From here we must report the t-test value, minus 16.59, the degrees of freedom, 266, and the p-value of the test, of the t-test here, which, as you notice, is lower than 0.0005. So, it's definitely lower than our significance level, 0.05, 5%. Therefore, we are going to reject the null hypothesis of the t-test and say that there is a significant difference between the two group means. Now, let's take a look at this first table to get some more information. The employees who took the course had an average score of 62.13, while the employees who did not take the course had an average score of 46.19. The t-test shows that the difference is significant, so the employees that took the course are better at Spanish. They speak Spanish better. The mean difference between the groups is about 15.9. You can see it here in this column, mean difference. So, the employees who took the Spanish course got about 15 points more at the test on average. Furthermore, in these two columns, we can see the average difference between the two groups in the total population. We don't know this difference in the total population, but the SPSS program estimated it for us with a 95% confidence level. So, this difference is somewhere between 14.0 points and 17.8 points, 
with a confidence level of 95%, as I said. Of course, this difference is in favor of the employees who took the course.